Discovering how nature works and understanding how it changes, that's ecology. Without this knowledge, we won't find solutions. It takes the curiosity of researchers. At the Netherlands Institute of Ecology, NEO, we continually work for the benefit of nature and society. We've done so for nearly 70 years, nationally and internationally. We promote and perform groundbreaking ecological research on the migration of birds, the astonishing variety of soil life, or the rise of cyan bacterial blooms, and on the relationships between species and their environment. With nearly 200 people from 25 countries, we are one of the largest research institutes of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. In and around our sustainable, circular building, we make use of nature's inventions. It's a vibrant place, brimming with scientific talent and home to outstanding research facilities. Our living labs, for instance, and our limitrons, 1,000-litre mini-lakes that we use to study the effects of extreme weather or of microplastics. We share our ecological knowledge and innovations as widely as possible with society. For a sustainable future, for all life on Earth, we focus on three themes. Biodiversity, climate change and the sustainable use of land and water. At the heart of everything is biodiversity. That's the variety not just of species, but at all levels. From DNA to the landscape. This is what makes our living environment healthy. But biodiversity is under pressure worldwide from human activity. From light pollution, for instance, our world gets brighter every year. It's a problem for many plants and animals. How much light can they handle? And how important is the color of the light? With LED lighting, adapting the color is easy. We've demonstrated that red light has less impact on the activity of bats, insects, and other nocturnal animals. Our research gives rise to new policies for more nature-friendly lighting. Biodiversity is also important in aquatic environments. The Markamir was murky and almost without life. But the construction of new islands, the Markawodden, created shelter zones where silt from the turbid water could settle. This paved the way for water plants and small aquatic animals, which in turn attracted fish and water birds. The start of a new ecosystem. The Mark of Arden are an excellent example of how ecological knowledge can be used to protect and restore biodiversity. And the more biodiversity, the better nature is able to adapt to major changes. Our second theme is climate change. If we fail to curb global warming, the consequences will be irreversible. Heat, drought, or, at the other extreme, torrential rains. How resilient is nature? How good are species at adapting? To answer these questions, NEO studies food chains and seasonal timing. If spring temperatures continue to rise, the caterpillars of the winter moth will hatch earlier and earlier. There may not be enough young oak leaves at that time for them to feed on. Or, great tits may miss the caterpillar peak that they depend on to feed their chicks. We've been collecting such data for decades to find out what is changing on our planet and how fast. We've discovered that great tits are adapting by laying their eggs earlier. That's good news for now, but there are limits to how fast species can adapt. If we look carefully, we'll see that nature does offer solutions to the climate change problem. Just think about the soil that can store large amounts of carbon in grasslands and forests, for example. In this way, it doesn't end up in the atmosphere 
as greenhouse gases. We increasingly understand how soil life can steer this process and how we, as humans, can stimulate it. Essential to life on Earth are healthy soil and healthy surface water. How can we make use of these without degrading them? Starting with our food. With our research, we want to make food production more sustainable. That means healthy crops, but using far less pesticides to combat pests and parasites. How? By using soil bacteria and fungi as bodyguards for the crops. Out of the millions of species of bacteria and fungi, only a few are bad guys. The rest are good. They're invaluable, just like water, which is a true source of life, especially if the water quality is good. NEO works closely with water boards and other partners to improve water quality. That's also important to make cities more sustainable. The water quality is affected by the amount of nutrients ending up in the water. Too much phosphorus causes water plants and blue-green algae to grow uncontrollably, choking out everything else. Restoring the ecosystem will bring back a variety of species and make the food web balanced again. Nou, hier gaat mijn waterbioloog hartje heel hard van kloppen. So, there's a lot we can learn from nature. Promoting research. Performing research together with policymakers, nature managers, and businesses. And sharing the new knowledge it produces. That is our strength. The efforts of volunteers are indispensable. Because worldwide problems require shared solutions for the sake of all our lives. NEO, the National Institute of Ecology, is contributing to those solutions. With knowledge for now and for the future. NEO, ecology for life.